Well, week four of the NFL is very interesting to watch and look look at from a both as a fan of you know single team and as a casual as well. Very interesting to see that the Eagles have gotten their act together a little bit, kinda. Very good offensive game by both Green Bay and Philadelphia. But ultimately, you know, the Eagles got the W. I don't know what in the world the Packers were thinking. Four verts in the end zone, four times, dumb plays on fourth downs and stuff like that. You know, just disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, Redskins, Giants. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Redskins are absolutely terrible. Just trash. How do you let Wayne Gallman run for a couple touchdowns on you? How do you do that? How? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Um, Chiefs, Lions, very, very interesting game. Lots of fumbles in this game. Lots of rep ball in this game. But that's what the that's what the Lions will say. The Lions will say rep ball. But I will say, and everybody else has said, fumbles. Patrick Mahomes didn't even throw a touchdown. You had it. You had it right there in your hands, Lions. You just didn't execute. Uh, the Falcons. Hey, remember when everybody said the Falcons were going to the playoffs this year? Ha <laughs> No. No, they're not. Titans. Titans take care of business there. Browns also take care of business against the Ravens. Um, it's kind of wild. Um, Browns are very inconsistent, like I said. Um, like I've been saying, they're a very inconsistent team. When they want to do, when they want to be, you know, this hyped up team, they get hyped and they deliver body blows like this. But when, you know, the hype gets to their heads, um, they they go out and lose the they go out and lose the Rams. You know, Raiders finally get the victory. You know. Um, what an interesting game right there. Unfortunately, did not watch it, so I will not know. Um, against the Colts, uh, Patriots, Bills. Now, I was a little bit hesitant to keep this game on, but ultimately, you know, the Bills kept themselves in it. You know, um, Josh Allen just kept throwing picks, and then he got knocked out of the game. So uh, the Patriots did not run away with this one. So I think the Bills may be fine. Uh, they did have Matt Barkley. It's crazy. Um, Panthers, Texans, uh, you know, Panthers get their – Panthers get another win. I don't know what in the world's happening with the Texans right now. It's a, it's a bizarre, bizarre thing. Not even to talk about the Dolphins. The Dolphins had the lead for five seconds, <laughs> and then they lose to the Chargers by 20. Uh, very surprising here. Uh, the Bucks. Uh, Jameis Winston, he, he did throw an interception, but Jameis Winston – was doing work against the Rams. 55-40. That's a basketball-type score right there. That's a Virginia basketball-type score right there. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Rams have some work to do on defense. And maybe Jared Goff has some work to do himself. He was just throwing interceptions and looking like his old 2016 self all over again. Pretty rough. Not even going to talk about the Cardinals either. Just absolutely disgusting performance right there. The Vikings also absolutely disgusting. Terrible performance against the Bears. The Bears defense was on point. Khalil Mack on point. You know, and the rest of the Bears defense also on point. You know, how in the world do you justify giving Kirk Cousins a lot of money? You know, like that. It wasn't just it wasn't just Kirk Cousins, you know. The receivers did not do anything. The offensive line didn't do anything. Obviously, um, play calling was not very good, and it was just bad. It was really bad, you know. Um, yeah, um, Vikings need a lot of things to fix, and they need to fix it fast if they want to right the ship and get to the playoffs. Jags um, snap another. Uh, victory from the Broncos' hands. They Broncos had it. They almost had it, but ultimately, you know, it's snapped away from them. Once again, um, Steelers. You know, Bengals just weren't just aren't very good. They're not very good either. It's gonna be 
really rough season for them. It's gonna be a rough. It's gonna be a rough season for a lot of teams, I think, or a lot of these bottom tier teams. Let's talk about the nightcap really quick. Um, the real game of the week on Sunday night: them Dallas Cowboys taking on the New Orleans Saints. Oh my goodness! Uh, as a fan of the Cowboys, it was very rough for me to watch. Um, Apparently, you know, it, 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 I don't know how the Saints did it, you know, but they did it. You know, it was just enough defense to where well, both teams look absolutely beautiful on defense. But I think, but I think Cowboys really should have done more through the air. I don't know what in the world Kellen Moore was thinking. I don't know what we were doing running on fourth and one straight up the middle, um, one drive, and, you know. Just a lot of missed opportunities against the Saints defense. You know, you know, the, somehow the Rams had burned the Saints defense. Remember Cooper Cup, remember uh, Cooper Cup's big intercept, uh, big reception um, a couple weeks ago. Really should have been throwing some deeper balls down the field. But you know, the Cowboys didn't get a good drive in. Um, but yeah, um, that was early in the third quarter, and you know, it was just a rough game ever, ever since then. Um, yeah, this is going to be a learning curve for Kellen, I think. You know, it's going to be a learning curve for all of us Dallas fans, um, especially the really cocky ones. They're just like, we're going to go, oh, we're going to go 16 and oh, we're going to do all this. And no, we're not. Calm down. You know, we're going to win the Super Bowl. We got, we're going to get the six rings, baby. You know, it's, and, you know, you got, y'all got, got to calm down. Calm yourselves, you know? Uh, this was really a learning lesson in exploiting, you know, defense. I think, you know, we need to attack the weaknesses of these defenses better, you know. And Dak didn't do it yesterday. Zeke really wasn't even a factor. Wide receivers weren't even really a factor, you know. A couple fumbles, too. Um, although, really, I think it was kind of a fumble, but kind of not. I don't really know, but ultimately it looked like a fumble to me um, with Zeke heading on the fourth and one. That's the fourth and one I was talking about, um, where Zeke had the ball, had the first down initially, but then the ball got swiped, swiped out. You know, just rough, rough lost. It's tough. Got to regroup. Got to do better next week. Got the Packers next, so you know it is what it is, boys. You know, so that's that's it for week four. Um, week five is also around the corner, so you know, right here, right now, we need to get ready um, for another week of good old fashioned NFL football. It's going to be a great week, let me tell you. So, with that being said, peace, y'all. See ya.